Hello guys and welcome to a new let's play series The Last Door So basically this is another point and click adventure with uh, pixel graphics Just like uh, the last one I played, The Dark Side Detective And it has a very very different tone than the last game Basically similar to the last game it uh, deals with the supernatural again but it's uh, vastly different in feel and uh, I guess uh, mood that it inspires. <laughs> so while the Dark Side Detective was mostly a light-hearted uh, humorous adventure, this is a very dark and scary and I mean it's straight horror game inspired by Howard Lovecraft. So basically yeah, it's, it's, very, it's very cool, it's very immersive. Uh, I think I've played it once a long time ago, so probably I've forgotten most of it. So it should be a, almost like a new experience for me, as for you, maybe. So without further ado, let's get started. Actually, let's see, let's check the options. What can we do here? Okay, music volume, effects volume. Let's see. Okay, we gotta have some some atmosphere. Okay. I, I guess that's good enough. Close captions. Uh, okay. Uh, dyslexia friendly fonts. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. This is ugly. <laughs> yeah, I, I prefer like the old school pixelated version. Let's see. And what are the defaults? Hmm. Okay, let's let's see how this works. So let's let's see, let's go to episodes. So there's four episodes, right? Let's start with episode one. The letter. After all the things I have seen. Oh, I'm supposed to click. Okay, that's a bit loud. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Why can't I... Let's see. Let's... Actually, let's disable the closed captions. And continue. After all the things that I've seen. Okay, so this is us. It's a very dark attic. Let's see, what is this? We have an inventory? Okay, a chair. After all the things I have done. I cannot escape the course my life has taken. Oh no. Is this what I think this is? Crap. Can we can we get out of here? No. Okay, I guess the game is telling us what to do. <laughs> I guess we are powerless to stop it. Now I am beyond redemption. Yikes. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Okay, don't do it, buddy. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beachworth. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a pretty powerful beginning. <laughs> I've never played a game before where the main character commits suicide <laughs> in the first, in the opening act. I really 
love the music. I think it it really contributes to the to the creepy atmosphere. Oh, we can skip this. Okay. October 1891. So Victorian England. This is basically where most of Lovecraft stories take place. It's like during the Industrial Revolution. Viratenequisiat. Okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce this correctly. That was all my childhood friend Anthony Beachworth had written in his letter. Wow. It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. But we had left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. That letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Well, you're, you're right on that point, I guess. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took to the first morning. I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old house of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Manor. Wow, it's like it's a big house in the middle of nowhere. Episode one, the letter. All right. Oh, okay. Now we have an inventory. But wait, actually. So once again. I just cannot... Alright, lens. So we can use the lens to look around. But there is nothing to see, I guess. So, okay. When the pointer is like a finger, I can do something. What is this? Oh, I can... I can look around. Ooh, what the hell is this? A murder of crows. <laughs> I really like how it call, how they call it a murder of crows. Basically, a flock of crows is called a murder. Man, that's pretty scary. A murder of crows is eating eagerly. There are so many birds that I cannot see their prey from here. Wow. That's pretty scary. A garbage bin, judging by the fall odor, I would say it has not been emptied in a fortnight. Ooh, fortnight. I really love the British, the British dictionary, you know. <laughs> so, fortnight is uh, two weeks, for those of you that don't know. For me, it was also pretty, pretty confusing, if you want to tell the truth. Okay, can we? No, okay, I cannot do anything with the crows. Can we open this door? It is latched from the inside, okay. So I guess we cannot go through this side. Let's 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 go to the front door like regular people. This is strange. Everything is silent as if there was no one living here. Well the last guy who lived here killed himself. I am worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Oh, we took off our clothes. Okay, our coat. So there's a grandfather clock ticking. A grandfather clock. It is the only sound around here. What about this? A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation can become unbearable for us, and, much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Okay, I wonder who they are. Maybe they're like the butler and the maid? My coat, okay. Is this Anthony? The years have not been kind to him. Really, he, he pretty much looked the same as I remember. <laughs> so I guess the only thing we can do is walk upstairs. Wow, it's pretty dark here. And the music certainly got creepier. I, I want to go back. Yeah, I mean, not that this is much better, but still. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, wow. 
pretty dark here as well. A machine that plays recorded music. I did not know that Tantrin was such an enthusiast of new inventions. A cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There is also a matchbox. Ooh, can we take the matchbox? These matches could come in useful. Nice, okay. Okay, cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles, I guess. Okay, let's check out the window. That large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. Uh, a fireplace. It looks like it has not been cleaned in a long time. Can we clean it and see what's in there? There is no need to do that. Oh, but there is. Okay, open this, this door. Let's see what's inside here. Ooh, a hallway. A sea escape. There is a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. What about this one? A rainy mountain landscape. And... Is that the woman? The portrait is crooked. Oh, can we fix it? Uh, oh! There we go. There is a lever behind it. An old rosary. Cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. Okay, it's not a lever, it's a rosary. <laughs> this painting depicts a deep dark forest. Man, this is it's getting scarier and scarier. Okay, let's let's go left first. There's a door over here. And every every door creaks so much. What is this? Is this the kitchen? The kitchen stove and clean cloth. Let's, let's pick up the clean cloth, I guess. It might come in handy. I'll take it. Alright, you'll never have too many too many items. It's an adventure game, after all. Plates and pans. Okay, I guess we're not taking them. What about the table? A place, a plate with some days old leftovers. Huh. A variety of herbs and ingredients. Hmm. Okay, let's check out this door then. Next. I have enlarged the door. Oh, okay. So I guess this was the door to the backyard with the crows. Let's see. Can we can we do something with them? Use the rosary? No, I guess. How about the matches? No. The cloth? No. Okay. Um. This was the garbage, right? Can we use the cloth? No. Okay. Alright, once again, nothing to do here. Let's keep exploring, though. Alright, there's a flower. A small plant brings some life to this place. Uh, is there... Oh, there's another door here. Okay, let's check out this one first. Let's go from left to right. A bedroom, nice. This this doesn't look so bad. A wash basin and some toiletries. Oh, that's right. It's Victorian England, so basically people used wash basin to shave. All right. The mirror. Oh, okay. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. A lamp to hide the way. Oh, there we go. Come on, take the lamp. And let's see, let's use matches to light the lamp. Nice. Okay, perfect. Now we have a lamp. Ooh, another note. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get he has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. Well, we already found the rosary. May 18th, 1881. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let that poor thing starve. He is such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He is growing more and more like himself every day. 
September 15th, 1891. Always the first school day. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him full at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Oh boy. An empty bowl, like the ones used to feed pets. Oh no, I'm scared. What happened to the cat? The window is so dirty I can barely see through to the outside. Okay, let's let's use the cleaning cloth then. No, really? All right. Um. Oh. Wait. Oh, now I can see it through the outside or what? Oh. Right. So we open the window. So if we put some food, maybe the cat will return. Okay, we gotta get some food. Oh! Looks like the window frame is rotten. I would need some kind of cord to hold the window open. Can we use the rosary? Yeah, let's... Ah, there we go. The cold wind of the inning is a relief in the suffocating atmosphere. Alright. Let's see, if we go out and go back in... Is something going to change? Okay, maybe... Maybe we need to put some food there for the cat to come back. I mean, I don't know what's to what end we do all of this, but... Huh, the door is locked. I should try to find the key to open it. Okay. So, uh... I think this was the door to the to the main lobby or no? Okay. There we go. Okay, now we can walk upstairs because we have the Yes, we have the lamp. Perfect. Man, what is all of this? A lot of paintings again. Wow, the doorway has been boarded up. Can we open it? They are firmly nailed down. I cannot remove them with my bare hands. Unfortunately. How about here? Oh, there's a door. It's locked from the inside. Okay. So we should... Oh, there's another door. Let's check it out. Alright, another bedroom. A silver key. Ooh. So this maybe opens the the door in the basement. A double bed from the accumulated dust, I would guess it has not been slept in for a very long time. Well a gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. The fireplace is black with soot. Small photographs and at all the girl types, mostly family portraits. Okay, the girl types, I think those are like the negatives used to make the photos. The window leads to a balcony shared with the adjacent one. Oh, there we go. What? I cannot open, I cannot open the latch, it is stuck. Perhaps I could do so using a small tool. How about the key? The key is too thick. I need something thinner to remove the latch. Ah. Okay, what do you know? Uh, check out this place. There was another room to check. As far as I recall, the one surrounded by... ...by the portraits. There you go. Let's see what's in here. Uh, the door is stuck, it won't open. Can we open the key? No. Uh, how about this one here? I think this one was also latched from the inside. Okay. Okay, it's latched from the inside. So let's let's go downstairs again, I think. Yep. 
Okay, if you double click really fast, you fast travel. I guess once we explore the place, we don't need to be that precise. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh god, this place is scary. Okay, this. Can we come back? What is this? I think this is a slate disc record. The sleeve reads the Carnival of Venice. Oh, yeah. A disc. Oh, okay. There was a, a gramophone, I believe, that we could play this. And what is this? A slightly rusted iron crowbar. Oh, okay. So now we can open up that boarded space. A small pile of firewood, twigs, and chunks of dry bark. Can we? Uh, can we set them on fire? No, I guess. Uh, okay. The bottle looks like it has been out of use for a long time. Uh huh. A boiler. Okay. All right. So we got the crowbar and the record, so we could try playing the record first and then using the crowbar to open up that room. Okay, just have to remember where was the end here, nothing changed. Okay, I think the gramophone was here. I think the recording of sound of sound or music can be played if an engraved cylinder or disc is inserted, but I see no such object in this device. Well, what do you know, we have one. It must be broken. I do not know how to make it stop. Dear head overlooks the room with more size. The music has abruptly stopped. What happened? What the hell? Okay. So all the crowds are here. Can we go back? They're still here. Shoo, shoo! Can we go through here again? I'm pretty scared I'm going to die if I do that. Okay, let's... Let's get outside first. So if the crows are there... Aha! There is something that remains here. A dying crow. Not much life left in it. Alright, we got the crow. So now we need to get to this place. The kitchen stove. Play with some leftovers. Plates and pans. Can we do something with the crow? Okay. Oh! Okay, the crows are gone. Luckily, the curtains are drawn. Man, that was scary. Oh, okay, the fireplace hasn't been cleaned. Let's try to clean it. Okay, I guess it doesn't work like that. Oh god, does it mean the crows are now inside? Oh no, it's this crow that's making the noise. Oh god, that is scary. Okay, can we attract the cat with it? Where was the cat? It was one of these rooms, as far as I recall. Was it this room? No, this is the kitchen. And this is the outside.
Yes, I guess that was what we intended to do. Now let's wait. And come back. Wait. The cat didn't come back. I have laid the crow in the bowl. Okay, do we have to kill it? Okay, I guess nothing else to do. Oh, I hear something in the distance. It sounds like a lament. So something happened. Where did the crow go? Oh god. A trail of blood. The crow is gone. What the hell happened here? There is a tiny dark hole in the wall. Can I... I mean... Can I get the rosary back, I guess? Okay, I already read the letter. So I guess the cat must have eaten the crow, right? Right? For sure it's not something scarier. Okay, so that sound, I guess, is the cat, maybe? The sound is louder down here. Alright. Did the cat get stuck after eating the crow? Okay, the firewood. Oh, the boiler. The boiler. Let's try to open it. I cannot see anything interesting enough to just... To justify prying it open. What are you talking about? There is a cat inside. Oh, the cat seems to be behind this wall. Okay, can we break it down? Cannot break down the wall with this. Okay. Alright, let's get back then. We're gonna use this crowbar to open up that boarded room. But now instead of the creepy crow in our inventory, now we hear the creepy cat sound. Man, this, this game really... is really good, good at creating a very creepy atmosphere. Okay, I guess I cannot hear the cat on this side. Not good enough for now. Okay, we are here. inside my god what has happened here oh no there is a body on the bed there is a body on the bed the lifeless body of a woman she has been here for a few days looks like she is clutching a note in her hand god I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts my last lines my last breath I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger, with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion and human world. I do not know what shadow has slow slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest that now dwells in our souls. I do not know where it is from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will go free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. God, that was scary. Okay, what, what did she drop? A simple long hairpin. Okay, great. Great, we can use it to open up that other room. It is a letter. Oh, not alone. Dear Margaret, It has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily frightfully and it gets worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company I am lost. Oh, I guess that was the... his wife, she's writing a letter to somebody, maybe her sister or a friend. 
I can barely walk out of bed and not even the doctor will come here after his argument with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Beechworth. God, that is so sad. She couldn't even send the letter. She was like, she was in a wheelchair. An old wheelchair, yeah. I guess, yeah, okay. I read the suicide note already. The writing on the wall reads, Leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? Oh my god. Okay, let's read the other letters, I guess. A letter in a feeble handwriting. I cannot go on. Always lost. Man. It's a diary page. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. And now they think I am not worthy of this family. But who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. Wow, okay. So probably... His wife was also a little bit crazy. She was looking at the portraits of his ancestors, thinking they are judging her. Nothing of interest on this dressing table. Leave me alone. God. Okay, let's open this door. <gasps> ah, I see. So these are the portraits. A woman of strong features and dark hair. He has a bold look in her eyes. She looks like the woman on the bed. She is holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is marred by a severe unsettling gaze. Maybe these are his parents. This young woman, not yet in her twenties, stares defiantly back at me. A man with blonde hair. I feel it as if I have seen him before. And what about this picture? A portrait of Anthony, standing beside a mounted wildcat or lynx. The paint looks fresh around this animal's head. Ooh. Okay, here we use the old cloth, I guess. That would just smear the fresh paint. Yes, that's what I want to do. Uh, I mean, what the hell? Uh, there's a big raven perch outside the window, tapping on the glass with his beak. Okay, can we... Okay. The young Anthony, just as I remember him. So maybe there's something we can do with the window, something we can do with... with this portrait. I'm pretty sure it's something somebody tampered with the painting. Uh, can we pick up any of those things? Okay, I already read the letter. Okay. Let's see, let's let's go to the place. Try to use the hairpin to unlatch that door. Let's see. Okay, this one is stuck. No, no. There's another door we could open. Okay, this is the place where we were just at. Oh, there is the one. Okay, cool. Let's see, if you use the hairpin. There we go. Using the hairpin, I have managed to spring the latch with ease. And now, ooh, what the hell is this? And there is the stairs to the attic. Oh, okay. We already know what's in there. A lynx, mounted and stuffed. This is a fine work of taxidermy. Alright. Let's see what's here. A few press cuttings pinned to the wall. The Illustrated London News, 1887. The judge kills himself under strange circumstances. The Daily Telegraph, 1888. Irma found dead floating in the Thames. The Times, 1889. 
famous actor found bled to death in his hotel room. What the hell is happening here? A map of the region of Sussex with markings drawn on its surface. Okay, we already read those. A few handwritten notes. That goddamn cat! He meows every night and it is for me, I know it. He is mocking me. He knows my secret, he knows. I will not let him ruin everything. I don't have any choice, I have to put an end to this miserable life. Or better yet, I will blind him. You Gabby Gabby Lynx, you would not confess, no, not you. Oh my god. What did he do? Did he... Did he stuff the cat? Did he kill it and stuff it? Did he blind it? But there was a cat that was mewing. A common hammer in good condition. Okay. Can take the hammer and free the cat. What about here? A can of paint in there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's take it. What about here? Oh, okay. So I guess that's the room. Right. So from here, we go to the other room. And here we can go to the balcony. On top of the ladder there is a trapdoor with a keyhole reinforced with gold. But we cannot open it yet. I think this is the last place we will visit. The gold reinforced trapdoor is locked. I need to find the key. Key. Okay, there's something. Some sort of spilled chemical product. It smells strongly of vinegar. Maze of chemical experiments. Some strange books written in a language unknown to me. Probably Latin. God, this is scary. Alright, let's go back here. In this creepy room. Okay, let's let's use the, the old clothes. I dampen the cloth with paint in there. Okay. The tinner has worked. The fresh paint is gone and now I see the original painting. The link's mouth is open as if it were glowing. Okay, the tear has worked. The link's mouth is open as if it were glowing. What the hell? Oh, okay. So I have to... To go back to the links, I guess. And check out his mouth. The links looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Its mouth is shut, like it was before I reversed the original painting. Revealed the original painting. Can I open his mouth? Hammer I guess. I would hate to damage this fine work of that stuff. Alright, I gotta go... Let's see, was it... Yeah, I have to go to the boiler room again. Take care of the cat. The sound is louder now here. Well, no wonder. The black cat is staring at me. But wait, its eyes are missing. Oh god, he really blinded it. Good lord, it almost ripped my eyes out. It has run away into the dark. But there is something else in here. 
There is an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask and a knife. Okay, the knife could be useful. Uh, man, this game gets creepier and creepier. But we are getting pretty close to Now we need to go to the links. Okay. Back upstairs. I think this is the only door we haven't opened yet. Let's go here. Oh, right, we need to go. Uh, no, no, actually, not this room. The other room. This one. To get the link's mouth open, there is a golden key inside. Alright, so I guess this is the key to this trapdoor. Oh no, oh god, no, Anthony, no. Oh, you're too late. A portrait of a woman, Anthony's life, wife, perhaps. She looks very happy here. Okay, I guess the only thing we can interact with is the body. The lifeless body of my dear friend. What madness could have led him to commit such an act? There is something in his pocket. It's a sealed letter. Dear J. DeVitt, is this up? Yes, I don't know. If you are reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write to you in my last shreds of lucidity. You are one of my oldest friends. And I send you the letter asking you to come here. I did not doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more details at this time. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made the, the pact, where we all swore on our honor that sentence that would protect us. This letter must not, must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours too are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, David. Do not forget that. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beachwood. The adventure continues in episode 2. Oh god, okay, <laughs> that was really scary. Alright, I think this was a pretty nice start to this adventure. So, hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully you can be, you'll be back for more. There's already a great mystery at hand that we need to solve. So, I think that's enough for today. I'll see you guys again later in episode 2. Until then, bye bye and have a safe day, don't be scared.